All right, so Dave's going to get rolling on it now. He pours a bead down the center. Watch how he works it. It's much different than polyester. Pretty different. Very different. It's not necessarily forcing it in. Why is it different than polyester? Why is it different than polyester, this gentleman says, the fine gentleman. Um, it's different because you're not forcing it necessarily in. You're just spreading it, and it saturates on its own. So you just got to get the spreading technique down, it saturates, then you pull it out. Is that viscosity different than polyester? Yes, indeed, actually. Um, right now it's kind of cold, so when we poured it out it's a bit thicker, um, but generally it's a lot more viscous, so it wets out better overall. And it makes it easier to spread. You use a lot less product. I think we mixed up only 15 ounces for a double four deck. So that's quite a bit less. You again. All right, the youth of today. How much of that stuff do you use on the board? Total? Um, if you're good, like these guys, you could probably get away with like maybe a total of like a little less than three quarts. With hard, that's including hardener. Two, two quarts of resin, one quart hardener. So. Oh yeah, do you wanna you wanna price on that? I'll sell you some right now if you want some. You got any money? Give me your money. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> How much quantity wise do you use on a total board in the like ounces total. Dave, you want to go real? Is generally, I think the bottom is 12. Oh, okay, I just don't want to. 14 to 16, but that's the ounces. Back, um, but you know, it depends upon how wide the board is, how long the board is, what weight cloth is four and six ounce, so... What kind of weight cloth do you prefer to use on your short boards, like a 6-1, like the sword model? There is no right, there is no wrong, there is no correct, it's correct for the given circumstances, the given rider, the guy who is really heavy footed, he may be light footed, he may want a disposable board. It depends upon what it is you want and what the customer's asking for. So you cater to the customer. It's the idea. It's <laughs> <laughs> the idea. Wow, this young fellow, a real go-getter. Did you have to play in a band? Did I? No. <laughs> yes, he did. Never. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh, you want to start a band? Take me. I want to ride your coattails. <laughs> Grant, roll yeah, it as a unless you really want to. Who has a question? Uh, uh, how much is the resin to do with? Well, we retail the resin at Foamy Z. No, for a single board kit, um, which is going to get you two quarts of resin, one quart of hardener, it's $95. Comes with additive F. Um, you're good to go out the door. Yeah. You're welcome. Wait a second, son. Uh, how long do you have to work with this before the resin, uh, before it sets up? Um, the pot life is generally like 20, 25 minutes. On a day like this, probably closer to 25. It's a little chilly, you know. Um, so you get a little bit longer time to work. Are we double teaming? Is it setting up? You were talking too much? Oh, gotcha. We need to travel across here. You mentioned additive F. I've used that with RR resin. Do you use it with Super Sap? Exactamundo, the same stuff. It's pretty gnarly, so we always like suggest that you wear a respirator still, because that's even though the resin's bio-based, that stuff will eat through your eyeballs in a second. But you only use a small amount. You use like a couple millimeters. Yeah, exactly. So in the end, it's not so bad. Yeah, you don't even necessarily need to use it, but it takes the guesswork out of any like errors in mixing ratios. But why? But why what? Why do you use it? Why do I use it? Because that way, if I want to get lazy and mess up on the ratios, I can still stay in the hot tub without it gumming up. There you go. What type of board is it? This one? We already did. We cover, we covered that, right? <laughs> it's a surfboard <laughs> for surfing on your feet. <laughs> it's a it's a stretch. Uh, Fletcher Ford, Nathan Fletcher. You know him, Christian Fletcher, Herbie Fletcher. The Fletchers? Man, Wikipedia that thing. Dude. You'll get it. Yeah, it's a legit site. <laughs> You're not going to win the board if you keep asking questions, you know. <laughs>
They're the. Wait a minute, we went over that. Wait a minute, time out. Let me grab the fins. Do these ones. Future. Recycled. Fins. Check them out. All recycled. You want to get this? You want to get them in and let them pull a couple? No. This little old fella. Nope. Not gonna happen. It's a great idea, though. <laughs> so once again, if you haven't signed up, hurry up and sign up before we do the raffle to win a free surfboard. My man Johnny over there got to get signed up. Yes, sir. Oh man, don't even ask that. Manners, my son, manners. No, seriously, the raffle will be when they're done, like pulling the laps, finishing up. Basically what they've done, instead of water falling the resin off the rail like you would with polyester and how will that go to waste, you can look at the floor after we're done, there's very little on the floor and that's the idea. So you're pulling it out and you're using every bit of it um, as opposed to having all that waste on the ground. So you go into a, a flash shop that does strictly epoxy, very little odor, practically none, and uh, very little waste on the ground. So it's another great aspect of it. Ryan, what's your experience like using the bio resin? Which ones have you used? Which one do you prefer? Uh, I've used all of them. Um, and uh, I'll be honest, I haven't glassed a whole lot of boards, you know, but uh, but it makes you look like a pro. <laughs> exactly. You've got uh, quite a lot of working time uh, compared to Polly. Oh, they were boxy, so. Good.